going to uh, try and deal with something on this rivet gear that I don't much care for. This gear stays really loose in between the in between the layers. It's got the outer layer, then the Gore-Tex, and then the insulated liner. When I go to put this on, this insulated liner gets rolled up like this, and then I have to sit there and fight it. I'm really getting tired of that. So I'm going to attempt to do something I haven't done in at least 20 years. What it is, this is a this is a hole punch. I used to do this in the Navy, but it was a long, long time ago. And then it's uh, got these snap buttons, which here. which are basically this. These are a lot better ones, but those are for opening and closing often. Once I get this done, I won't be opening and closing this very often. You can do this. Uh, the, uh, the punch itself cost me uh, 12 bucks, and then it was like uh, $5 for a pack of six of the snaps. So I got 18 snaps. I got way more than what I need, but I'm going to show you how to do this. And uh, hell, once you learn how to do this, you can you can fix your boat covers. You can fix all your stuff. You just you got to have the right tools to do these snaps. So, stand by and I'll show you how this works. Alright, first off we got these, uh, they're called snap fasteners. And I'm going to dump these out. Give you an idea of what, what we got here. This is the, uh, base plate for the punch. This is the punch. Indian's got one, you just do it with your hand. But basically you've got your top finisher and you've got the snap itself with the ring on the inside and you've got your male end basically you got this. This is going to push up through there and you're going to put the uh, base plate down and then you're going to hit it. That's going to mushroom that out and that's going to hold it in place. And this is through the material. I did that one wrong. That's that's the top. This is the bottom. So that's how that's going to look. Gives you plenty of room to get your uh, material set through. And when you do this, you want to separate all these out so you get the right ones. Let's see, that's five. And there's the sixth one. So 
So we'll just organize them a little bit, put them where they go. And it looks like they gave me an extra. So when I screw it up, There you go. You got six tops, six bottoms. And we'll be back. All right, now, you see the Gore-Tex has a uh, zipper all the way down from damn near the neck all the way down here. Then there's the quick attachment to the pants that comes out through the liner. So what we're gonna do is the first one of these we're going to put in the middle lined up all the way up and then we'll just work our way out now lining up the center of the jacket we're going to put the first one in first thing we have to check is the hole size this has a dial for different size holes that we want to punch. This one is uh, about the same size. This one is big. I'm going to try with the smallest hole first. Now you go to the center where you want it. Go up about a half an inch. Punch your hole, lift up on the material. There we have a hole. Now we're going to do the second hole and that's going to go through the liner. Same thing. About a half an inch up. Push the material up. And that's done. Now, you take your grommet with the post, you insert it through your first hole, then you put your top on it, lay it down on the uh, metal, on this. You're going to take your punch, pretty much self-centering, and hit it with the hammer. I'm afraid I don't have a very solid base. to get a better base. All right. What better than to use MT8 boxes? Keep checking it. It's curling it back. Still not a good enough base. That was a finger. Still sloppy.
still sloppy. One more thing. All right, still fighting the uh, base. We're going to try two by four. And I'm going to try a quarter inch drive extension. That sports fan is perfect. So now we'll go to the other one. We'll pull the bottom side out. And we'll put the sleeve over it. have to use the other side. I'm going to flip that over, put it on there, That one's on. First one is done. Now, a lot of your coats will have this zipper. They're quick attachments for the back of the pants. See the short one? On my Revit gear, I've got another zipper that goes all the way around and seals up the entire coat. 